I think anorexia is when people are really, really skinny and they start starve themselves just to look really hot and attractive. I feel like we shouldn't judge people who have anorexia or like an eating disorder because it's physically and like mentally exhausting for them. And at the same time, I feel like they're really stupid because they should respect their bodies and not just starve themselves to death because the latest magazines out there like feature young girls, young like skinny girls on the covers are like, yeah, I just feel it's really stupid that then at the same time, I feel like we shouldn't ridicule them and like judge them. Um, I think anorexia is brought on partially by the media and all the images in magazines, TV, and um, I think girls think they have to look a certain way or be a certain size in order to be beautiful. I think people should love themselves and should respect themselves by um, loving their body or if there's something they dislike and they feel they're overweight, they should exercise, not starve themselves. And I just feel um, people shouldn't go by what others say or like the media or skinny girls or models. They should be themselves, I guess. <laughs> I think anorexia is really dumb because why would somebody sacrifice their lives just to look skinny for other people? The following video is the news of a male model who deals with eating disorders. The eating disorder is called manorexia. The pressure on women to be thin has been widely reported, but some men also fall victim to it. This man was a model before his battle with anorexia, which has reduced him to 92 pounds. April Woodard on the dangers of what some call manorexia he had looks to die for a hunky male model with a totally ripped body a six-pack with bulging muscles and hollywood good looks it's frightening to imagine that this is the same man today i have no body fat basically frail and emaciated virtually skin and bones his skin is paper thin it's ravaged my body jeremy gillister is fighting for his life i do want to live definitely the 36-year-old from Minnesota weighs a dangerously low 92 pounds. Jeremy is battling anorexia. Only one in ten anorexics is a man. A popular term is manorexic. Well, I want to inspire everyone, but especially men. Males have the same pressures as females as far as maybe not being skinny, but looking ripped and muscular. Jeremy was an adorable, healthy little boy. He grew into a ruggedly handsome young man. His friends suggested he model. I like seeing that I look good. It was I was nervous in front of the camera. He appeared in numerous ads, many featuring his athletic body. Jeremy began working out with a passion, and he took on a chiseled physique any guy would envy. I felt the need to be perfect in my body shape and size, and muscles but it was never good enough nutritionist joy bauer doesn't treat jeremy but says that obsession over body image is a common trigger in male anorexics the same way that women are looking at magazines and rail thin models men are looking at those very same magazines men with six packs and ripples of muscles jeremy says he slipped into anorexia's deadly grip after suffering a string of personal setbacks <laughs> He began combining an almost fanatic exercise routine with a near starvation diet. I was eating probably then maybe half an apple a day and half a sandwich, that's it. The muscle soon disappeared and his body took on an emaciated look. He even documented it on YouTube. Jeremy says his faith is helping him to turn his life around. Surprisingly, his refrigerator is now chock full of food and he's starting to eat more. His portions are small, but it's a big step. People ask me, don't you want to look like you did in those pictures? And I'm like, I'd rather be happy than buff. Life is looking better. I just think anorexia, is, it sounds like a really bad disease. And, uh, I just wish those that have it good luck. And uh, I feel really bad for those that have it. And also for the guys that have it. Because I hear it's mostly guys that have it, anorexia. So. What do you think about anorexia? I think anorexia really hurts everybody involved, not just the people who are being anorexic because they have people who love them and who care about them and it hurts them too and it's just stupid. People should really like themselves instead of starving themselves and making themselves thinner. Um, do you think anorexia and bulimia are the same? No, there are differences in them, I know that, but the effects are basically the same. I don't think anorexia is safe because even if you manage to survive malnutrition, 
And starving yourself of anything just makes you want it more, and many people have died of eating more than any your stomach can hold at once. Anorexia and bulimia is a really dangerous disease. Um, I've recently found out that uh, not only females get anorexia, but also males. And I hope to never have anorexia, and I feel bad for people who do. If you can't enjoy food, you can't enjoy life. And if you can't enjoy life, you might as well be dead. Nails went blue, my lips went blue, I looked really pale, my hair began to fall out. I was basically already in my death. And you're lying in bed thinking oh, that your son's next door in bed starving. How can this be? I think uh, anorexia and bulimia is just a really bad disease. And um, I recently found out that uh, males also have that. It's you know, very, a lot of vari variation. Males, they get that. And um, it's just very sad that people go through all this stuff and they start throwing up just to lose weight and um, they think that they're fat and they try to lose weight which is like really sad and abnormal and I wish it could stop. I wish people would just you know try to just eat normally and don't think that they're skinny because that's just really messed up and sad. You know? It shouldn't happen. In my opinion, anorexia is a really dumb thing because like you're already beautiful for who you are and handsome who you are if you're a guy. Yeah. But guys should not be anorexic you do need your husk sometimes, guys, okay? Women, it's okay if you're a little bit on the large side, but just try to keep yourself in weight, because, like, if you go anorexic, you can die. If you go overweight, you can die. Just try to keep it balanced. So what do I think about anorexia? Um, it's rare, but, I mean, it happens, I guess. You know, sometimes, uh... Someone could be big and they just suddenly lose weight and they could still think they're they're fat or something and it's a disease, I think. It is, right? Yes. So yeah. Well anorexia I think it's a... It's not, I don't think it's really a disease. It's a, a behavior which consists of like people like having a bad um, memories of, in the past, like being uh, mistreated by other people and which will cause them to lose weight because uh, they're probably called fat asses or fat, which will cause them to lose weight because uh, some people will get really depressed from that. So I think that's one reason um, anorexia is a big thing uh, right now, so yeah. In a population of nearly 3,000 adults, they found 25% of those with anorexia or bulimia and 40% of binge eaters were men. Men are often reluctant to admit they have an eating disorder because they feel it's just a woman's problem. Another example I could think of anorexia would be from uh, Demi Lovato. She's a famous uh, Disney Channel singer. She was uh, fat when she was younger, and she was bullied because she was fat, which would cause her to be depressed and lose weight extremely. Uh, she had to go to therapy. I, I think recently she just went to a place to get help from that. So I think bullying has a big key to this um, anorexia part. Uh, I think that anorexia is a very serious disease. I think it's very dangerous. I know a lot of people can die from it. And uh, I hope it stops. Uh, we can treat it. Uh, stop it from hurting as many people as possible. For men to have this, um, I guess it's a, you could call it a mental illness, where they think they're not uh, at their best to please others or to themselves, that they have to either um, have a, a diet that a food that keeps them either too thin or to constantly um, get rid of the food by, you know, vomiting it or, or, or other actions. It's harmful for their body because, as I remember, it's not a healthy way to consume your food. And it's just a bad habit to keep. And eventually, as you get underweight too much, your body will start, your body organs start to fail to the point where you could damage your body internally. Okay?